caucus. With the May 21st primary right around the corner, there's a lot of talk about the candidates, but also about the elections process itself. Kentucky, Se Kentucky Secretary of State Allison Lundergan Grimes filed a lawsuit Monday challenging a new law that strips her of her power over the State Board of Elections. Tonight, she says that law could lead to big problems. LEX 18's Mike Valenti explains. Secretary Grimes is on the offensive tonight, calling the new state law, which removes her as chairman and voting member of the board, reckless and sloppy. And she warns chaos and confusion will surround the state's primary election unless the law is invalidated. This is not the time uh, for us to be testing some novel, new uh, concept for election administration uh, here in the Commonwealth of Kentucky. The law also limits the Secretary of State's access to a database of registered voters. The measure passed after two employees at the State Board of Elections claimed Grimes had amassed unprecedented power over the board and targeted political rivals in the voter database. Grimes denies these allegations and maintains that she followed the law at all times. Exercising oversight does not constitute overreach. Uh, oversight is what a chief election is, official is supposed to do to ensure that our elections are fair and honest and there's integrity in the process. Some Republicans who led the push for the new law are named as defendants in the lawsuit, including House Speaker David Osborne, who called it frivolous. Listen, they're the ones that, that put forth this law. They'll have to explain to the court of law why they feel, especially right now, that this is, is something that the Commonwealth of Kentucky uh, needs to take on in upending the State Board of Elections after uh, what has been decades of operating with the chief election official overseeing it. With the Secretary of State removed as a voting member, the board is now locked at an equal number of Democrats and Republicans as voting members. Grimes warns that'll lead to inevitable gridlock. Covering the news, Mike Valenti, LEX 18 News.